things keep going wrong and we're not, it's just, it keeps happening. Don't know why. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> welcome back to the cooking show. <laughs> Today we're gonna be answering some questions and I'm gonna be making Kelly and Miles some food. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, okay, so today, hello. <laughs> we're gonna be making some tacos. Um, it's like it's, something's wrong. Balls. Okay. <laughs> so the entire, <laughs> all the ingredients are from the box that I got in the mail from Hungry Root <laughs> this morning. So thank you, Hungry Root, for uh, sponsoring this episode. Uh, like I said, all this food came from the box that I got personalized for me. I took a little quiz online. Um, I selected all the foods that I like to eat, the kinds of foods I'm interested in, um, any dietary restrictions I have. I'm super particular about the way I eat and I like to eat a lot of meat, high protein stuff. So I went through and did all that and that's literally what I got, like a, just a ton of meat. But it's a super easy process and you just order it all online. They send it to your door. You don't have to go to the grocery store, which is nice because I'm terrible at grocery shopping. Um, You've been grocery shopping with me many times and I suck at it. Uh, I don't know what it is. I just, I'm not good at picking out food and I waste a lot of food and probably waste a lot of money because I don't know how to uh, manage that. But uh, this has made my life so much easier and the process of it is so much easier too. The best part about it as well is I've used other like food services. One thing that Hunger does that a lot of other companies don't is uh, send snacks, which is very strange, but like, you wouldn't think that that's something that other companies don't send, but they do. Um, Hungry Root, actually. Tell me why. You want to hear about this? They have an amazing offer going on right now. Okay. And it's all, all going to be in the bio of this. They're doing a deal right now with code Bradley40. Mm. If you use that in the next 72 hours, you get 40% off and a free gift. Wow. You're welcome. I am I'm the gift that, that keeps on giving, really. Yeah. Um, so go do that and we'll put all the information in there and you can go do that. But right now we're gonna make the tacos and you're gonna rate them. And uh, really the entire company of Hungry Root is relying on your Tough good rating. So, so, uh, uh, so let's be good. going, shall we? Um, okay. All right, we're gonna start by uh, just, you know, eating up some tortillas. Okay, let's see. What is the weirdest food combination that you love? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, you want to know what the first thing that came to my mind is? What? It's not something I've had in a really long time, but it's gross to think about. Uh, macaroni and cheese and hot dogs. That's not gross. I'm pretty sure I've had that meal yeah, cool. often in my childhood. Um, I used to put cinnamon in my mac and cheese. See, you lost me. Nope. Is that gross? That's gross. Is it that's, gross? You're not in your head one. as in, yeah, it's, it's gross. gross. Okay. I don't know about that. Oh, disgusting. Um, okay, well, thanks guys. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, do you have an embarrassing secret talent? An embarrassing one? Yeah. And show us. Yeah, okay. and please demonstrate. <laughs> um, an embarrassing secret talent. Man, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Do you, do, do you know you? any? You lived with me. I don't no, actually, I, never mind. I don't want to know. Really, I don't want to know. You're like really good at cleaning an airplane seat. Thanks. <laughs> this no, guy I mean, knows yeah, how to this guy. If there's one guy who knows how to clean an airplane, airplane seat. So uh, I, mean, I, mean, yeah, I mean, I'm a clean freak for sure. Yes. Like it, like it bugs me. I would say I'm pretty good at cleaning. Yeah. Is that fine? This, that is, that's good. This is a good one too. If you were arrested with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? Oh, man. <laughs> Airplane seat, too clean. Yeah, I don't know, murder. <laughs> uh, so like, yeah, he probably snapped at some point. Huh, I don't, okay. I don't know, what crime? I feel like you would probably be something, something like, like if I'm honest, honest, probably something like driving. I was gonna say that. Like, speed. You might get arrested for speeding. I mean, it could be bad. You, you could. <laughs> you wanna see? If you, if you tried really Let's hard. Let's go for a drive. <laughs> Um, probably, uh, probably something along those, but but only because I love cars. You know, it's not because like I didn't like result in an accident or something though. Right. Yeah. Okay. This is getting dark. Anyway, okay, okay, let me ask you this. Okay, what's the funniest joke you know? We tried to ask me this earlier, and I don't know any jokes. So, what's the funniest joke you know? Okay, I, I heard this joke the other day. Uh, 
I think he was on an episode of uh, Kill Tony. What is this you're cooking also? Oh, this? This is uh, some pre-marinated chicken. Mm. It actually smells hungry. It, it my, does. my honest reaction. So, uh, I heard this joke the other day. Guy goes, I, I was in the bathroom and uh, <laughs> there was a sign that said, only flush toilet paper down the toilet. Do not flush anything else. <laughs> and he goes, and I, I was standing there and I just thought, what the fuck am I supposed to do with all this shit? <laughs> that's that's a dumb so one. Dumb, that's so dumb. That's a dumb so one. Good, dude. Okay, which fruit would you be? Which fruit? And why? I'll tell you what you give, kind of. Yeah, okay, what? You're giving like blueberry. Maybe it's because we just talked about how much you like blueberries. There's so much blueberry in my mind right now. But... I was gonna say uh, I'm a tomato. Why? Because I'm like, people are just kind of like, wait, what are you? Are you a fruit? Are you a vegetable? What are you? You know what I mean? Did, did, okay. And then also, but like, yeah, he's good. I like him. He can do a lot of things. Also, a really divisive fruit, though. Okay. Do you think you're divisive? <laughs> I don't know, like, people either love them or hate them, you know? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Which fruit would I be? I think you're a mango. Mango? You're Why a mango. is that? It's very <laughs> bright. <laughs> Got a big old seed in there. <laughs> people really don't know how to, like, how to go out, how to go out of it. It's kind of like... Do I cut it this way or what? I don't know. Who would win in an epic battle between Superman and Batman? I mean, there's a movie. Well, in your opinion, <laughs> if you were <laughs> in charge of the plot, uh, what would you say? I don't know. To me, this is such a dumb question. <laughs> Well, technically speaking, but it's hilarious. If Batman had the right power, no, uh, it's stupid. I mean, Superman's like indestructible. You know? Also, I like cooking the, the steak or the chicken or whatever it is. I just like to put a little bit of the salsa or whatever I'm using in there. Kind of like you know how you're supposed to cook a meatball in the sauce. Mm -hmm. That's my thought. Anyway. Okay, what's like the most unexpected career? that you saw for yourself? Uh, I, there was a, a long portion of my life where I wanted to join the military. Yeah, you brought that up to me the yeah, other day. Yeah. I think about it all the time. I really did want to join. I wanted to join the Navy. Just part of you still? Yeah, I don't know. I, I like the idea. I, I just really respect people who go do that. And, uh, you know, I like the idea of having a purpose like that, you know? Along those lines. Yeah. The only other career outside of like acting and just film and television in general that I've ever really considered was uh, sports broadcasting. Yeah. I always thought I'd be a good sports broadcaster. I think you would be. Thank you. What Guinness Book of World Records record? This is phrase. Right. Strangely. Uh, okay. What's like a record that you would like to break, or maybe one you think you could break? Like what? Like what's something you really would? I was pretty close to one. But I think Leo Howard beat me by like six, six months, months on my biggest television. Really? Mm -hmm. I, think, wow. I don't think I am like, second anymore. Hmm. But um, yeah, he he was like 17, like fresh 17, and I was like 17 and a half or something like that. Damn. Yeah. Almost barely, at it. Barely got me. You were in the episode. I was. I was there. Was cool. Hey, how did I do? Directing? Directing, yeah. I thought it was great. Thank you. Oh, you're a great director. Oh, that's very sweet. Thank you. How does it feel to direct? Um, I liked directing a lot. I don't know if it's something I like have a burning desire to do again. And I feel like if you don't have that desire, you shouldn't direct. Mm. You know, because mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people out there who really, who do have that passion and do have that desire, and who would be a lot better at it than I would because of that. You know? Yeah. I so I have a random question that I've been asked a lot. Um, what's the difference between a producer and a director? I know a lot of people get confused. Mm. Uh, well, a producer is kind of the person who like more deals with the financial side of things, or either that or the like creative side of things. And then once you're on set, the director is the one who 
runs everything, controls everything. What do you say? I would say so. Yeah. The 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 director's like the captain of the ship, and everybody like is kind of below, mm -hmm. and he's just trying to keep everything afloat. But there's people who are just equally as important all throughout. You know. So where does the producer, executive producer, fall into the ship of it all? Well, executive producer is finance. Okay. So like then there's creative producing. So they're they're more like the creative producers do. Great job. There's obviously onset producing. It's there's there's a lot of different kinds it's of producing. It's a variety of yeah yeah. yeah. Did I ask you this last time? Do you believe in aliens? Uh, I do. Yeah yeah yeah. I mean I don't believe that there's little green goblins running around like. Who's to say they're not little? Yeah, I, little I guess green you're guys. Right. Sure. What do you Dude. think they look like? Um, I I don't think we know at all. Actually, we do know. But nobody do. seemed to care. I think we do. Wasn't that funny that the government was like, yeah, we have so much proof of aliens. Everybody was like, oh, yeah, whatever. Like, the attention I gotta, span. I gotta go to work tomorrow, you know? We have probably time for one more. One more question? You wanna ask me one more question? Oh my God. Okay. Are you, are you over it? You're like, no, to be um, honest. I'm good. No, I do, I do. What's the longest you've ever slept at one time? I actually think genuinely like 12 hours. I feel like I remember going to bed. I went to bed one night, was sick. I remember going to bed at like eight and waking up at eight. Mm. Like I was in bed at seven. Is that that crazy? Asleep. 12 yeah, hours? I feel like people have probably slept for like 24 hours. Would I you have you. been fucking mind boggled if I was like, I slept 24 hours one time. Yeah, that would be crazy. I was like, dude, get this. One time I missed Wednesday. <laughs> It happens to like, people. There was a week where I, I only had six days. Like, that, mm. that'd be insane, you know? Wait, I have one more better question, actually. This feels like a better, like, wrap it up kind of question. Okay. What's the best taco you've ever had? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um, best taco? Hmm, that's a good question. Or, like, what's your favorite kind of taco? Like oh, I, I like uh, Al Pastor. Mm. I love Al Pastor. Yeah. I, you know, there was this like little kind of hole in the wall in Thousand Oaks. I think there's still one in Agora. It's called Habanero. We used to go to all the time. It was so good, dude. So good. How about you? Are they still there? I know. I don't think so. I think mm. they went out of business. I don't know. It takes a lot for me to like hate a taco. You know what I mean? Mm. I love like a shredded chicken taco. Oh, there's this place, um, Roadside Taco. Have you been there? Get the beauty shop. Roadside taco. It's, I was driving through Vegas one time. You know, have I you picked heard up a roadside taco for like 500 bucks. <laughs> you ever heard of Taco Bell? Oh, yeah, they crush it. Um, did you get the joke? What'd you say? She, she didn't get the joke, did you? <laughs> what did you say? I said I was driving through Vegas and I picked up a roadside taco for like 500 bucks. All right, I get it. Thank you. I just chose Yeah, hey, I made it. you some tacos. I just made Oh, thank you. This <laughs> you is go. about to be the best taco I've Let ever me know. had. I, I don't know. I think I did okay. It, it looks, looks good. It looks really good. Will you let us know how it is? Yeah. Shout out to Hungry Root. Am I taking a bite on Remember, camera? Bradley Forty. This is a big talk. <laughs> so. mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, good look. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> I was like, God damn, dude. It was brutal. Yeah, good? it was really good. Thank you. Yeah. God, why are we doing this now? Mm. Uh, we, we used to stay strong to the idea that we're not eating on camera. And then somebody came along. Who was it? Who was the first person to ruin it? That was last week. Yeah. <laughs> that looks really good. That's very good. That chicken's really good. That pre-made chicken mix is incredible. All right, well, Crushed thanks for it. watching. Do I have like hot sauce all over my face? Yeah, but we'll edit it out in post. Thank you, have a good day. <laughs> Shit, that's actually a good talker. <laughs>